Hi, welcome to today's session of uh, random talking. So today I've chosen the topic. Um, I, I thought of this name okay, just now. So it's like um, fingers on black and white. So um, I started, so this is about my musical journey. So I started uh, learning keyboard at the, I started with piano. Okay. So I started learning piano at the, when I was in seven standard, but that's like I'm 12 years old. So I started learning from, a, I don't know, should I call her a girl? Um, so uh, she was doing her engineering. So when she started teaching me, she was doing her engineering third semester. So that's like second year. So she's 20 years old. So girl, lady, young lady. Okay. So I was learning piano from this young lady, lady called um, Priya. Priya was the name they used to call her at home. Actual, her, I think her actual name is Teresa. Uh, which only when she signed, you know, then that's when I kind of got to know her name is Teresa, I think. I'm right. But we used to call her Priya all the time. So uh, she was, uh, you know, she used to stay in Subaya Hospital uh, near that, near that place. So Subaya Hospital, Matikere side. So that's where she lived. And uh, so my school um, was towards Yalanka. So... And a good amount of travel and about two buses I had to change and reach. So, yeah. So, from school is just a single bus. So, 401 is the bus number. Like, I, like you're not going to track me. I just believe on that. <laughs> so, uh, 401 I used to get. So, after school. School used to finish by like 2.40 in the afternoon. I used to, you know, reach uh, Priya's house by 4.30. Okay. So, 2.40. So three, like, you know, there's a 20 minutes walk till the bus stop. And then from, you know, take the bus. Obviously, my dad had banned auto or any kind of transport that would help me or make my life easy. So, it was just BMTC. Uh, and he used to be like, if you go in an auto, they might kidnap you. So, that kidnap story was very high and effective, okay. It worked. I learned like a very disobedient, sorry, I was a very obedient, <laughs> I was a very obedient kid. Um, so, that way, you know, there was just BMTC bus and, you know, cost cutting really mattered and so, yeah. That worked really fantastic for him. Uh, so I used to take the bus. I used to reach there by 4.30. And uh, when I reach, there's a first rule. Okay, so I'm in 7th standard, right? So I'm in that school uniform, you know, skirt and shirt and bag. Uh, in my bag, there's raincoat because in case it rains and it's July or something, I'm supposed to, you know, pack my bag up because I write with ink pen and it can all go away. And next, I have to pack myself up because I might get cold and fever and have to continue. Uh, so I used to go for classes three days in a week. That's like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. TTS was Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday or Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. So some Saturdays, that is like second Saturday was a holiday in my school. Other all Saturdays we had school. So uh, only that day I had to go from home, which was more painful because home is further away from, you know, um, my teacher's place. I will call her my teacher. So I used to call her Priya. She didn't want me to call her madam or anything. So she's like, call me Priya. So yeah, uh, I think how uh, the age difference was eight, nine years of age difference. And I used to call her Priya. So uh, so she used to be studying, you know, for engineering. Obviously, I know how haunted that could be. And I used to be like, class now. And uh, 5.15, she'll come in. So 4.30, I reached till 5.15. I didn't have a instrument at home. So I used to practice whatever she had taught me from 4.30 to 5.15. From 5.15, she'll start taking classes and she'll take a 30 to 40 minutes class. So by 5.50, 6 o'clock, her class ends and I leave. So some days I become late and all. And when I reach, okay, I didn't complete that. So when I reach there, you know, the coin booths, olden, day, uh, olden days, ne? <laughs> uh, 90s kids will know, okay. So that one rupee coin booth, we didn't have, you know, mobile phones and we're not allowed in school. Now, obviously, we're getting properly thrown out of school if you're carrying a mobile phone and so the one rupee coin so i had to collect all these one rupees were very precious at home okay because i had to make a lot of calls and all like every three days in a week i had to call so before i start the class when i reach there at 4 30 i have to make a call and if at all i forget then that day i have to take that shoutings from my dad he's like 4 30 to 6 o'clock we don't know if you've reached if you're not reached what happened to you did you fall down in the way it was not like that. He just wanted to make sure that I was attending class on time. Not like he knew I'm not going to fall down and all. Not, never a fall down kid. So <laughs> I was like, you know, I used to put that one rupee coin. Hello, I reached him. And I was like, how was the travel? I'm like, yeah, with 60 seconds, you please don't ask about travel and all. It was very horrible. I had to stand in the bus. I had to some lady stamped on my foot. I didn't get place to sit. And because I was a kid, though I was sitting, somebody made me stand. These were the kind of complaints. 
so this so when i uh, so generally our uh, home eating dinner time used to be like uh, 7:30 so 7 is like prayer 7:30 is like dinner time in when i was small okay even now it's kind of like that only but now it's small small okay uh, so 7:30 was like dinner time and by the time i finish like you know it's 6:15 6, let's finish say the class finishes and i set out from there then uh, 6:15 8:15, 7:15, 8:15 is when I reach because first is sometimes the buses are crowded, so I leave a couple of buses. Then it gets more crowded. Then I was like, okay, I could have gone on the previous bus. And then certain buses, you know, they take a longer route. That's like that Vidyaranipura. They circle in all that Vidyaranipura continent. So all these places are in Bangalore. They circle all that place, and then they come out and reach NES. And NES, I have to take another bus, so I have to change a bus in between. So I have to change the bus. So I I thought like and I have a one kilometer distance to walk back from the bus stop to my house, and when it's eight fifteen, like you know when somebody's eating at seven thirty, and you know after school when you reach home, I sn I used to snack. So when I reach like three o'clock, I used to snack for like about half an hour, forty five minutes of proper snacking, uh, like tea time, no, so that tea time and little bit of uh, chips and all that would be there. So all that snacking is lost. So. You know, very hungry. I used to like a hungry kid. I used to reach home. My dad's at home. He'll not come and pick me up because of this. Um, you have to be independent. Value to be enforced on me. He used to be like, I am very much alive, fully available, but I will not come and pick you. So, um, yeah, you know, back then, I used to be like, it just takes you two minutes to take a two wheeler and come and pick me up. Most kids get picked from school. I'm asking you to pick only on days when I have this class. He's like, no, you're the only child. You will have to learn to come back home on your own. You don't even have a brother or a sister, so I won't be there all your life. Whew. Yeah, so I used to walk slowly from there in that full hunger zone and come back home. So my mom said, "Why are you walking hungry? Eat, uh, you know, buy banana because other things are costly, you know, in the bakery." So she's like, "Buy banana. It will fill you also, and it's cheap also. Like two rupees was a." Um, and I never liked that small elek. What is that elek? I don't know what you call elek. Elekki bale no. Um, I don't know what's in English and all. Elekki bale no is in Canada. Adu and um, that is very small. That I don't like, and I didn't like it also. Even now I don't like it. It's like pacha bale no is my favorite. That's that little longer balin. That that's the balin which you know they put the agarbati during puja. That's the one. Okay, in case you don't follow Canada, so that's my um, robusta banana. I think it's called in Reliance. So I used to take that, have that. You know, two rupees. I used to. Uh, there's a bakery there. So they sell that in the shop. I used to take, have, then go attend class. Uh, sometimes Priya used to make cakes and also her mom used to bake or she used to bake. He used to be like, give me cake. I was like, oh, precious, my precious. I used to spend like 10, 15 minutes eating. They were like, eat in peace, eat in peace. Aram se khao. I was like, I have to go back also home. No, it's not like I'm going to sit here and eat the whole day. So uh, Priya took classes for me for uh, two years when I was 12 and 13. So that's from 2007 to 2007 to 2008. It's like one and a half year she took classes. Then uh, you know her um, own studies became very hectic for her. So she's like. This is it. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so um, and I was like, please do it. No, for her, teach her some more. So Priya used to tell me like, you know, my hands like super small. Okay, so she's like, uh, don't. There was a person. So she was telling about how she learned. So she's done her grade five work till you know from London Trinity College. She's done her grade five uh, certification. So she is like the person used to cut their, uh, you know, thumb finger. This part they used to cut so that they can play faster and get more speed and uh, cover more octaves. Octave is a set of eight keys of notes, like the black and white. So the white eight set of keys. Are you going to know that one? Do you remember Solati? All those eight set of keys. Um, so I started learning Western uh, thing, but do I still never listen to Western songs or music or English songs? Nothing. I was I used to not listen to songs only back then. It was just tape recorder, and I don't think I was school and all this. I didn't have time only to listen. <laughs> and none of my my parents were not like they are still. They don't watch movies. They don't like watching movies. So yeah, the exposure was very low on music side. So uh, but still, they, my dad was um, so my dad is a good singer. Okay, he sings well. So he was in the church choir during his childhood, and even now he sings really loud and clear and well. Um, yeah, Carol singing. I can't. It his voice is so covering everyone in peace. You know, it's very loud. You know, you just gotta hum along. <laughs> so um, 
yeah um yeah so she used to tell me like you know people used to cut their fingers so that they get that extra spacing and faster they can play and then uh because my fingers were small she told me this okay and she's like um but you don't do it okay i'm like you tell me all this please i'm not going to do all that never and then she used to be like you know don't do okay after telling me all this she'd be like don't do and i'm like yeah yeah don't do i won't do don't worry i won't do that <laughs> i'm never doing that and um so yeah matikare and back home and meanwhile when i used to go to matikare what happened is uh, the construction of this in that one and a half year okay which i attended the class one year i spent because of uh, you know construction of flyover so that matikare uh, from bell circle when you come into that matikare part there's a flyover which is there right now right so that was getting constructed at that point so i know when it's constructed exactly 2007 2008 was the construction part and then bus can't come that way so now two buses became three buses okay so i have to take the bus used to go and stop in eshwanpur um, main bus stop so eshwanpur police station is where i used to get down then uh, cross the road and get into that triveni road triveni road eshwanpur that side take another bus so i think that's 271 273 and all and i didn't know anything that side i was like oh my god what now so wait for that bus and then reach so by the time i used to reach it used to be like 5 5 30 okay 5 5 15 then 6 15 6 45 okay by the time class is over like 7 then when i reach home it's like proper 8 30 9 o'clock and i still hate rains man july august whenever it used to rain it would be miserable because first is hunger then rain i had two major enemies okay in this journey one was hunger though i had that you know pacha balen it was still not like i wanted more food like dinner time no so snack was covered okay but then dinner was starting to cover no like 8 30 9 9 i used to sleep only off as a kid 9 9 30 all full batteries off i am sleeping and 9 o'clock i be traveling and coming bus conductors and all became my friend okay because they used to see me they were like which school is leaving at this time they used to think i'm running away from home they used to have this conversation with me like tuition ama i am like who who is sending tuition so far And like uh, you know, uncle tuition. Because now if I tell keyboard, then I'll have to explain what I'm doing and all. So like, yeah, tuition, tuition. They're like, why are you coming for tuition so far? And then the scientists will be there, you no know, scientist conductors. They will be like, why are you coming for tuition so far? It's like um, fate, uncle. My dad believes in one good uh, teacher here, <laughs> so has to be like that. Um, so that was with 2007, 2008. Then the construction of the flyover got over. My classes also got over, so that was no point. um yeah traveling was staying a lot of my life from you know then in between you no know, when i was in school there was a teacher who used to live in uh, matikare so she used to come with her car okay i mean she she had a driver and the driver used to stay in her, you know um the school and she used to pick me up and uh, it's near my granny's place where she lives okay so she used to drop me there from there it's like you know walkable so where hospital is like another one and one 1.1 kilometers from matikare so has to walk that way off because waiting for a bus or taking there's no bus no because of the flyover construction so i said walking is best on 1.2 kilometers walk reach eat sit down eat in peace um yeah so priya was my uh, teacher beginner beginning so she did the she did a good job of introducing me and first of all my fingers were very rigid on you know? this finger and all used to not bend only this ring finger it they didn't get so she used to give me like that proper finger exercise and you should have that arching and we don't play blankly learn and one day she saw me you know in my seventh standard i started growing little nails and also that's cute and pretty you know she told me you're playing the keyboard you can't be doing you know you can't be playing with a lot of nails my mom used to think you should have nail polish and nails and then play very elegantly you can see the fingers not and um because when my nails are small and then my mom is like um no nails and all <laughs> and in school obviously you can't grow grow nails so she's like you can't be having nails because it will you know, you can't get proper fingering on the keys okay so that was nail ka ending then um 2008 she said enough i can't do this anymore then 2008 to 9 uh, 2009 uh, 2008 only i think from some 6 months i had another sir called marida sir so he was a bengali sir he lived in jalali jalali uh, after ms palya that you know that thing he's a uh, air force air force he was a person who was working in the air force he was a keyboardist there marida um and uh, he just got married like after um, i think some one month after he got married is when my classes started so his new wife is there and uh, you know 
I used to talk in proper textbook Hindi. It's like, iski kya avashakta hai? Something I wanted to ask him, okay, like, you know, why do we have to play it this way? So I had, I used to talk to him in Hindi. It's like, iski kya avashakta hai? He was like, what does that mean? I said, I think it's a Hindi word, avashakta. Avashakta means um, requirement. What's a, what is a need or what is a requirement? Then he was like, Hum Hindi wale, we Hindi people also don't use avashakta and all in words. Just ask, is ki kya zarurat hai? Ya, ye kyu chahiye? Ye kya hai? Ask that way. <laughs> I was like, okay, so, uh, and uh, I think only six months or something he could take classes because then he got a posting and he moved off uh, to some place where he wanted to move. He had opted for a location, so he moved off. You know, they are transferable jobs, he's in the Air Force. So six months he took classes and I used to go to Jalali, Aravali. There was an arcade, you know, so uh, they have a theater or something on the left side. There's one bus stop near the school. There's a KV, Jalali east or something east i think east so in front of that i used to get down and um, there's an aravali enclave so I, there's an arcade which you know it's on the right side I had to walk that's another one and a half one kilometer i think one one and a half kilometer end of the road last house or something it is good his house is the last house okay in that road because it's quarters right everything looks very similar so and yeah six months and I, he used to only take once a week class because when i say 2008 eight so that is like i am in 10 standard i told my dad i won't get marks and all my dad's like i don't have my dad said you're my daughter i got 35 or not i'm barely passing 10 standard i don't expect much from you you are getting already getting above my expectations okay this is not my dad said you're already getting above my expectation like 75 80 and all i don't expect anything more from you and um, you know this is just a one day in a week that's like four days in a month. That's like, you know, 12, 4, 36 days in a year, which is like one month in a year. He did that huge mathematics. And um, so I had to go. There's no other option to and all. <laughs> so I used to attend those classes and come back home. He was a good teacher again. So he starts, starts with scales. And uh, so he, though he was a Bengali, he used to play for a couple of marriages and all. Okay. Outside privately okay not legally but privately used to play outside you know so he sang kannada song okay it's like ubbachi gudinalli kaddu muchi that's that guppachi gudinalli kaddu muchi that song he has written okay he's written in the book like ubbachi gudu i was like oh my god and he played it so perfectly okay he played it perfectly but doesn't know the language so music is something that does not need a language uh, that was something like practically i could visibly see it in him uh, then came uh, Matthew sir. So his name is Jose Matthew. Uh, he's a Malayali, he's a Christian and uh, he used to live in Jalali West. So my dad couldn't figure out anybody else for a year or so like to teach me a uh, keyboard. Um, so then uh, Matthew sir came in. So Matthew sir, he stayed for seven years. When I say that he he literally is my transformer in the whole story. Uh, it's a long time, seven years, so 2009 to 2016. So from almost me being in 10th standard to me completing my MBA sec third semester, he was there as with me. So December 2009, that's like um, um, December 2000, 2009 is when he's starting to teach me. So 10th standard, first pew, second pew, all these times. And um, my dad never stopped on the classes because he was like, you know, anything is fine, but you got to, you know, learn the keyboard. I don't care how you manage your academics. You want to study, you don't want to study. It's totally up to you. But keyboard is very important for me. You want to fail a few subjects, one or two years you can take for that also. He was very chill about it. Okay, he, he was very serious about academics in the sense that when marks come. Otherwise, it's like, you know, as in when he always wanted me to do my best. And... He was like, and my competition is not within my class. My competition is always, uh, you know, state level, national level, that types. He, he compare me in that level. So there's nothing like, you know, he's telling me to see somebody in class. They're better than you. This is better. Sharma ji ka beta story is not at all there. And he's like, you're my beti. And my khopti was only so much. So you're getting already enough. This is enough. <laughs> and uh, he's like, you should be able to balance. Basically, what he meant was that. And um, okay, there's a lot of psychology behind him. That's a different day story. So uh, Matthew, sir, 
Matthew sir, he used to come home because it was, I, I told I am not going anymore, traveling so many hours together. I'm becoming very tired. I can't do that in, you know, 10th, first few, second few and all really not happening because already I'm traveling to college and home and that's a long time. So Matthew sir, he started and uh, 2009, he started 2011, 12 and 13, three years. I consecutively gave exams and I cleared my grade two in piano, grade four in electric keyboard and grade six in um, digital keyboard so grade six so grade four and grade six i didn't give it on my keyboard so grade four i got a psr um, yamaha these are all yamaha this one and i think grade six i gave it on a roland rolando or something i very bad with um, models and names and things um fourth grade exam he got a keyboard from his friend um which was a grade four uh that you they had to have those floppy disks which you could insert they had those criterias before giving so uh this certification which i took is from london trinity college where the exams used to happen in good shepherd's convent so there used to be a sister okay she's pretty old man and she used to take um piano lessons so there's two things to a piano uh, exam. There's one is written and one is practical. And I always opted only for the practical. I was not uh, into the written part. So utna talent nahi hai mujh mein. So it's basically my dad's dream that, you know, uh, I had to learn an instrument and um, um, that brought in a lot of patience. Okay, I don't know about uh, my talent is not that great. Only off late, I'm able to uh, play when I listen to a song. I can hear and take the melody on my own. Previously, I just couldn't do that. Maybe because I was too um, occupied with my head with a lot of, you know, school, college and things. Uh, but now I'm able to do that. I don't know, maybe because I'm a little more relaxed and have the time to think and listen to songs. And I think more exposure to listening. Basically, back then I didn't have phone or any kind of, you know, a method of recording a song or listening to it over and over. Now we are able to hear it on loop and on, you know, continuously on loop one particular song so many times in any kind of uh, all those apps, YouTube. Back then, YouTube also was like internet was so slow and if you download from internet, record from internet, all that was like, you know, audio was so bad. So that was a blocker. So, um, with, uh, this sir, Matthew, so he initially, so he's a Christian, right? So we, my dad's like, well, let's start with, you know, all these carols, but he's a proper Kerala brought up Malayali. So he had all the Malayalam songs. Uh, we were like English carols. And so like, uh, you know, from childhood being going to the English church. So it's always English. So he started teaching me all that. And that's how we started. So December is when he started of 2009. And uh, then slowly he started with the grade, grade pieces, grade two, grade four, grade six. So after grade six, I said, there's still grade eight. So there's grade one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After a sixth grade exam, I told my dad, please, that I'm in fourth semester of engineering. I fourth, six, I think fourth, yeah, fourth sem or fifth sem. Uh, my fifth sem engineering. And I, I, four, after fourth grade only, I was like, I can't do this anymore. It's very tough because you know and there's an examiner external examiner so uh, who comes to good shepherd's convent and this exam is happening during my semester and my internals when my internals are going on in college i have to go give this exam and it's a different keyboard for me during the exam so it's a little you know i get very nerved up because it's a totally different new keyboard and it's an exam and there's a foreigner who's sitting there and my first thing was like god bless me with the power of accent i should follow his accent and he should follow my accent more than anything so yeah luckily i cleared everything in one go and um, major part of major share of that totally i owe it to um, matthew sir it's totally him it's not me playing at all. He had so much patience to teach me. He'd be like, so he used to take his classes used to, so he used to come by 6.15 after he finishes his work. So 6.15, 7.15, 8.15, 8.30. So, you know, two and a half hours, two and a half hours to three hours, he'll sit down properly. And he started with scales. Okay. He started with scales, all the chromatic, achromatic, all scales and, you know, which are the flats, all that. So seven years of proper, um, solid teaching basically and his is uh he was more inclined on the classical side but you know with when i say grade two grade four grade six it's western music and once that got over like when i was in fifth sem or something we finished that right so uh six seven eight one two three uh another uh three another 
two two years yeah another two and two and a half years he had so that's when he taught me a lot of other uh, tamil songs my dad was a ar what is that ar rahman and la raja fan so uh, he also so though everybody is a malayali here we again songs when it comes to songs it becomes tamil so um, you know beautifully so the the scales are beautifully arranged the songs are beautifully arranged and those are like evergreen songs in tamil and things and hindi also couple of hindi songs tamil songs uh, you know he taught me um church only the you know from church and you know christianity perspective is just the christmas carols uh, he taught me nothing else um so yeah that he taught me and uh, matthew sir is there you know in the teaching level for my keyboard he is totally covered everything i have learned but again um, practice is definitely required it's not like i can suddenly open and i can't play um but because the notes are there i remember and i am able to hold get a hold of it and kind of but it takes me time i'm nowhere close just a beginner you could say basic learner but um music brings in a lot of patience you become very uh, you have to you have to listen and it increases my listening okay so i can if something falls in the house i exactly know where it fell based on my alertness okay not when i'm sleeping when i'm sleeping i can't hear a damn thing <laughs> so um alertness level of the music and all that you know the tuning happens and that's um and it gives you very calm it calms you down over a period of time you know when you play that music and uh, they say you know right if you do with your left hand if you're able to function all your fingers that also uh, it increases your memory because you don't use your left hand if you're a right handed person you don't use all the fingers and things it's very uh, what to say it nurtures a part of your brain and things that's all um studies have shown kind of a thing so that's my keyboard journey and uh, there's another bit to it so before all this um you know i started with another section of music uh that's for another random section talking so it's been a long chat let me see if i've covered everything i wanted to oh yeah so when my uh, you know this uh, matthew so used to come home so he used to live in jalali west so he used to come once a week or you know sometimes be, during my grade exams he used to come twice a week so uh, when he used to come you know there used to be power cut at home so we used to put batteries inside the keyboard like six huge batteries those huge batteries or six six if you were to put and he used to play he used to immediately open the laptop turn it around open the laptop put those sorry laptop i'm telling him so used to the gadget keyboard he used to open the keyboard put those uh, six cells and uh, then i used to start playing and in candlelight okay over a period of time we realized that we could use emergency lights so we got emergency lights ups concept was not at all there like at a home level for me back then so emergency lights two two emergency lights used to keep and you know we should we should read the notes right so seeing the notes was such a big pain and meanwhile my house has got a lot of you know my we got a lot of plants so a lot of mosquitoes and we didn't have those netted meshes okay so mosquitoes used to come bite me on my legs so when you're playing you can't keep hitting the mosquitoes so i used to be like okay take my blood but don't make it pain <laughs> take my blood but let it not pain let it not pain let it not pain was the only prayer but you so occasionally when it's just plain you know like ah <laughs> so that used to happen so like suddenly playing i'm like oh no 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 and then you you do that with the leg only you know you try to manage and all that and that was one bit um then what else ah we used to put that agarbatti coil and all you know like what is that um, mortine mortine mosquito coil mosquitoes not scared of anything okay so mosquitoes were a problem with this matthew sir he also used to get bitten okay he's like nothing is biting you i'm like amara um, paltu it's you know i have tamed it so nothing happens to it <laughs> sort of a thing and uh, but it's biting me also um mosquitoes net and when current goes obviously if it's summer no fan we like you know part of me would be sweating down pouring down and he be like focus concentrate i'm like yeah focus concentrate and two and after two hours to obviously my mind kind of switches off okay i had only so much patience after two hours and all i'll be like it's enough so kind of a thing and he used to be like he had lot of patience okay very high in patience we i be playing the law i mean not purposely okay i'm also not doing it purposely so many times so many mistakes and the patience level he has if it was me i'm i'm sure that uh, keyboard would have got some key would have gone of that keyboard he be like so patient he's like not like that like this 
not like that like this focus concentrate look at it see sit down so yeah two and a half three hours and he was an amazing teacher currently he is not in bangalore he moved out he got transferred um so yeah a couple of um, times he messages on christmas he remembers us so not enough i can say about him he's done a lot so all my three teachers um you know they all done their jobs at different phases and uh, also matthew sir is the sir who actually got my keyboard which is a psr yamaha uh, 401 which was like 15 16k back in the day so yep thank you sir thank you priya and thank you marida sir that's my musical journey take a deep breath <sighs> smile drink water okay stay hydrated stay happy tata bye bye